Greetings, once again, this is The Gallery, and I am the curator and the host, Robert Cooper. This month is March, and if you don't know what March is, that means it is Women's History Month. So for this episode, I'm going to talk about several women photographers, but with a twist. I'm not going to just talk about any women's photographers. I'm going to talk about women photographers who specifically photograph hip hop. For all of those who may not be in the know, who may not follow the culture of hip hop, this year, 2023, marks the 50th anniversary of hip hop. The women that I will talk about in this episode have taken some of the most iconic photographs in hip hop history. These women come from different backgrounds, from different ethnicities and different countries. And each one of these photographers have focused their lenses on different aspects of the culture of hip hop. So here are seven women photographers who captured the culture of hip hop. Sue Kwan. Her family is from Korea. She was raised in New Haven before moving to New York City. She has taken photos of Mob Deep, Jay-Z, Old Dirty Bastard, The Notorious B.I.G., Salt and Pepper, Cypress Hill, Organized Confusion, De La Soul, and many, many others. Jeanette Beckman. She was born in London, England, and she started taking photos of the punk scene in London before moving to New York City in the early 80s, where she once again focused on the punk scene there, but she also started focusing on the burgeoning hip hop scene. Her camera has shot such artists as the Beastie Boys, Run DMC, LL Cool J, Public Enemy, Boogie Down Productions with Scott LaRock, Slick Rick, which she took an iconic photo of Slick Rick holding his crotch, and she took the promotional photos of Salt and Pepper, which used to adorn my walls as a teenager. Delphine Fawundu, and if I messed up your name, I apologize. She was born in Brooklyn, and her parents are from Sierra Leone and Equatorial Guinea, which is in West Africa. She has taken pictures of Mob Deep, Lauren Hill, Nas, The Notorious B.I.G., Old Dirty Bastard, Lord Jamar, and various African hip-hop artists. Sheila Pre Bright. She was born in Waycross, Georgia but she was from a military family, so she moved around quite often. She refers to herself as a cultural anthropologist, and she began documenting the gangster rap culture in Houston, Texas. She has taken photos of artists such as Ice Cube, Scarface, The Notorious B.I.G., Big Mike, J. Prince, Big Mello, and many others. Sophie Bromley. She was born to Jewish parents in Tunisia before moving to Paris when she was two years old. During a visit to New York in the early 1980s, she was introduced to hip hop. She has taken photos of MCs such as Grandmaster Melly Mel, Curtis Blow, Lisa Lee, The Fat Boys, Run DMC, and The Beast Boys. Her DJ photography includes Cool Herc, Grandmaster Flash, Africa Bombada, and Red Alert. Lisa Leone. She was born in the Bronx. She has taken pictures of the Fugees, Nas, Guru, Fab Five Freddy, Snoop Dogg, Rocksteady Crew, Eric Sermon, Yo-Yo, Easy e and the women featured in Brandy's I Wanna Be Down remix. 
last but not least, the OG Martha Cooper. No relation to myself. She was born in Baltimore, Maryland. She started out as a photographer with the National Geographic and the New York Post before documenting the early graffiti scene in New York City of the 70s and the 80s. In 1984, along with fellow photographer Henry Shelvant, they released the photography book Subway Art. This book would be the most influential graffiti art book in history and is considered the graffiti bible. In the book, she takes photos of Dondi, Scene, Sapphire, Lady Pink, and Case 2, amongst many others. I hope you enjoyed learning about these seven women photographers who captured the culture of hip-hop. With this being the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, I hope in your area there is some kind of celebration to acknowledge this cultural movement. Maybe there's a concert, maybe there's a, you know, exhibit at an art gallery or a discussion somewhere on a college campus nearby. Whatever it is, make sure that you do something to celebrate hip hop this year. I'm celebrating all year round. I know the official birthday is in August, but the whole entire year of 2023 is dedicated to celebrating hip-hop. I myself am looking to curate a hip-hop show here in the capital region of New York. I'll keep you all informed of my progress with that exhibition. But in the meantime, make sure once again that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, leave a comment, hit the like button, and then when that's all over and done with, make sure that you go to Instagram and follow me at R Cooper Photography. Then go over to my film page, which is R Cooper Shoots Film. Hit the follow there. After that, go to Robert Cooper The Gallery on Instagram and follow me there. Until the next episode, thank you for tuning in. Blessed love.